All right, here's another question. Three circles with radii of eight meters, five meters, and two meters are externally tangent to each other. That means that they touch one another but don't overlap. Okay, they brush right along the edge. Find the area of the curved region between the circles as shown. So we want the area of this section right here. Okay. Again, there's probably more than one way to do this. I'm going to show you one way that you can do this problem. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is create a triangle by connecting the centers of my circles. Okay, so I'm going to connect those. Okay, there we go. So notice if I can find the area of this triangle and subtract from it, notice what's created in each circle. I have a sector here, a sector here, and a sector here. So if I can find the area of this complete triangle, the full triangle, and subtract from it the area of those three sectors, the part that's left is the portion they want in, in the middle there that's not covered by the triangles. Okay, so that is our plan. Okay. Um, to start that plan, I need to know the lengths of the sides of my triangle. Okay. All right. Well, this had a radius of 2, so from the center to the edge here is 2. This one had a radius of 8. From the center to the edge here is 8. So 8 plus 2 gives me a length of 10 for this side of the triangle. All right. Next, here we go. I have this one has radius 2 plus 5 more. This side has a length of 7, and here we had a radius of 8, and then 5 more for a total of 13. Okay, so there is my triangle that I'm currently looking at. All right, so, well, to find the area of the triangle and to find the area of each of these sectors, I'm going to need to know my angle measures also. So I'm going to start by using the law of cosines. Okay, I'm going to call this, I'm going to redraw my triangle up here. so we can work with it. So I have a side length 7, a side length 10, and a side length 13. I'm going to label my, my angles A, B, and C. And I need to find the measures of angles A, B, and C. Okay, so let's get started. We'll find A first. So if we use the law of cosines, we'd have 13 squared equals 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 10 times 7. And once again, if you want to use that, um, kind of the shortcut equation they used in the book, you can, right? So here I have 169 equals 100 plus 49 minus 140 cosine A. And I'm going to need a lot of room on this problem. So here I'm going to kind of, what I'm going to do here is solve for cosine A. So I'm going to subtract the 100 from both sides, subtract the 49 from both sides, and then divide by negative 140. Okay, so we're going to take 169 minus 100 and minus 49, and then divide by negative 140. And you should get 20 when you do your subtraction, divided by negative 140 equals the cosine of A. Okay, we do the inverse cosine of both sides, or arc cosine, if that's what you prefer to say. Okay, and I get my angle A is, again, make sure your calculator's in radian mode for this. Okay, so angle A is 1.71 about. Okay, so, and that is in radians. That may look weird in a triangle, but in radian measure, it's 1.71. All right, let's next, we need to find another angle. Now, you could use the law of sines if you want from here, um, or could, you could use the law of cosines again. Let's say I want to find angle B. Okay, so I use the side opposite angle B. 10 squared equals the other two sides, so 7 squared and 13 squared uh, minus 2 times 7, times 13, times the cosine of B. Okay, that gives me 100 equals 49 plus 169 minus 182 cosine B. 
We're going to solve for cosine b, so I'm going to take the 100, subtract 49, and subtract 169, divide by negative 182. When I do that, I get negative 118 divided by negative 182 equals the cosine of b. Of course, negative divided by negative makes that positive. Do the inverse cosine of both sides. So b is the inverse cosine of 118 over 182. So for B, I get about 0.865. So my angle B up here would be 0.865. All right. So um, to find angle C, because we do need all three of them in order to find our sectors here, um, you could either, again, use the law of cosines one more time. You can use the law of sines with either of these opposing sides. Or remember, we would use that the, the angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. We can use that, but you have to remember we're not working in degrees, we're working in radians. So 180 degrees, or like half of a circle, remember, would be pi radians. Okay, so I'm going to take pi minus the two angles I have, because there should be a total of pi radians, or 180 degrees in here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to subtract pi minus 1.71 and 0.865 to find out what's left for that third angle. Now again, you can use um, the law of cosines or the law of sines if you want, but I'm trying to save myself a little room, so that is why I'm using this method. Okay, when I do, I get that angle C is about 0.567. That's funny. <laughs> it's 0.5665, 0.567. Okay, we have our three angles. Now let's get to work. Okay, so let's go back and review what our plan was. Our plan was to find the area of this triangle and subtract from it the area of these three sectors to get the space in the, in the middle here. Okay, so let's do that. Let's first, I'm going to go ahead and find the area of that triangle. I'm going to put my angle measures in here. So this angle was 1.71. This angle was 0.567, and this angle over here was 0.865. Okay. Now, we had several different ways we could find the area of a triangle. Um, I'm going to use the area of the triangle that said that the area was equal to 1 half times the two side lengths next to the, the including sides. So I'm going to go from angle A here. Okay, so 1 half B times C times sine of A. You could use Heron's formula. You could use any of those valid ways to find the area of a triangle, but this is the one I'm using. So I would use um, 1 half times 10 times 7, the two included sides for this angle, which was 1.71 radian. So if you're using the radian, make sure your calculator's in radian mode. I know I say that a lot, but it's really sad when you get to the end of a problem and realize your calculator was in the wrong mode the whole time. So 1 half times 10 times 7 times the sine of 1.71 gives me an area of about 34.66 for the triangle. Okay, so I'm going to take the triangle and we're going to subtract from that each of the sectors. So now we need to find the area of the sectors. All right, let's start with this sector here, okay? So remember, the area of a sector of a circle is 1 half radius squared theta, okay? So let's go for the one, the, the sector with radius 2 is 1 half times 2 squared times its angle was 1.71, okay? So 0 0.5 times 4 times 1.71 gives me an area of about 3.42. Okay, let's do this one next, angle B, its sector. It had a radius of 5 in this circle, so its area for that sector would be 1 half times 5 squared times 0.865 was the radian measure of its angle. So 0.5 times 25 
times 0.865, and that one is about 10.81. All right, we have one more left. The sector for our largest circle, it was radius 8. So we have 1 half times 8 squared. Its angle was 0.567 radians. 0.5 times 64 times 0.567 gives us the largest area so far, 18.144. All right, so on with our plan. We are almost there, okay, because remember our plan was to find the area of the triangle, which we did. Here's our triangle's area. Find the area of each sector, which we did. And now we're going to subtract the sectors from the triangle. First, I'm going to total the area of my sectors. So I'm going to add those all together, 3.42, 10.81, 18.144, one four four. Okay, so together they have a total area of thirty two point three seven four. And notice what I just found there is the area of this, this, and this together. Okay, so we're going to take and subtract that from the whole triangle so we get that section in the middle. Our triangle had an area of thirty four point six six. So I subtract from that 32.374, and I will have my answer. Now notice if you did any different types of rounding on your answers, um, your answer will be a little different from mine, but should not be drastically different. It should be around 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. Okay.